So you're thinking of moving to Palmetto Bluff in Puffton, South Carolina, a place where a love of nature meets an elegant and sophisticated lifestyle, a place where dining and culinary delights are intertwined with arts and culture, and you add in health and wellness and a holistic lifestyle, and what you end up with is really an inspired way of living and memories that are gonna last a lifetime. So if you wanna learn more about this amazing community, the houses, the lifestyle, the architecture, and everything in between, don't go anywhere. Let's get started. Do you want to know everything about the South Carolina Low Country, whether it's Bluffton, Beaufort, Hilton Head Island, or Jasper County? Then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about the current market here in the South Carolina Low Country. My name is David Simcox, host of Low Country Lifestyles and a local realtor. I get calls and emails every day from people just like you and you and you looking to make their move here to the South Carolina Low Country, and I absolutely love it so whether you're moving in three days or three months give me a call shoot me a text send me an email or book a zoom call all in the description below so i can help you find your low country lifestyle in today's video we are exploring palmetto Bluff, an absolutely magical place very very deep in history it started out as a historical getaway for the rich and famous for uh, some of the elite new york banking families there used to be a huge mansion out here in the early 1900s that burned down and then it was later redeveloped as a real estate project for a very sophisticated lifestyle which includes art and culture dining health and wellness as well as some of the most beautiful homes and architecture you can possibly find here in the south carolina low country so without further ado let's jump in learn a little bit more about the lifestyle the homes and the real estate market here at Palmetto Bluff. So Palmetto Bluff was originally a playground for the rich and famous back in the early 1900s. So in 1910, Charles Wilson built this amazing grand mansion right here on the banks of the May River. And he was a wealthy New York banker who used to come down here and throw lavish parties and spend his summers down here on this 10,000 acre wonderland of uh, preserve here in the South Carolina Low Country. Uh, unfortunately, in 1926, this grand mansion behind me burnt down. And, uh, and then the land, the 10,000 acres, wasn't really redeveloped until around 2000 when it was turned into a real estate project. So Palmetto Bluff is made up of three villages and then it's flanked by larger estate properties around that. So the villages are Wilson Village, Anson Village, and Moreland Village and the properties could be you know on an eighth of an acre lot and then they start getting bigger and bigger if you live in the village style setting you're going to be able to walk to the amenities the restaurants the shops but then there also is the opportunity to to own larger estates some of those estates go all the way up to 30 acres and they have their own private gates and I mean, they're just absolutely incredible. So there's gates within gates. So whether you're into like the village style setting like you see behind me here, or if you want your own private, um, you know, gated estate that's super secluded and super private, you have a lot of options here. Palmetto Bluff is run by South Street Partners, who you may have heard of from other luxury developments like Kiowa Island and the Cliffs, but they definitely have a reputation for luxury resort style neighborhood management. I'm here at the Bay River Golf Club. This is an 18 hole championship Jack Nicholas golf course and to an avid golfer, 
around here is like a trip to Nirvana. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there are uh, holes that go through the, uh, the forest. There are holes that uh, are on the banks of the river. And uh, it's just an absolutely incredible experience if you have the opportunity to play here. There are also plans to add another 18 hole course eventually and a nine hole course. So if you are, uh, if you're a golf aficionado, it doesn't get much better than this. So if you enjoy the boating lifestyle, or if you think you might enjoy the boating lifestyle, or you think you might just like to enjoy the river, they have over 32 miles of riverfront in this community on the May River, the Cooper River, and the New River. Now here at the marina at Wilson Landing, they have a haul out slip. They also have dry dock storage like you see behind me. And uh, they're actually building a new marina over on the New River where they're gonna have, I think 172 slips in the water and close to 230 dry dock slips uh, where you can store your boat totally enclosed. And when you wanna go out boating, you just say, hey, go get my boat, put it in the river, I'm ready to go. But uh, even if you don't want a motor boat, you can come out here and fish and shrimp and crab and kayak and paddleboard and do all kinds of water activities. If you don't want to head out on the May River, the New River, or the Cooper River, don't worry. There's over 10 miles of inland waterways curving throughout this entire community. So you can go on one of these little boats here, or you can go on a kayak, or um, you know, just go exploring on all the multitude of inland waterways and see the birds and the wildlife and really just reconnect with nature. It is absolutely amazing. So I'm here at one of a couple of these different treehouse uh, buildings that they have out here at Palmetto Bluff. And this is just one illustration of the many ways that they are dedicated to really young people and children and really inspiring their minds and setting their spirits just soaring. They have all kinds of camps and programs for kids if you live out here. Um, they've got adventure camps where they take kids out to the golf courses and they teach them about that and they take them down to the river and they teach them about that and they take them out to the farm and they teach them about farming and they have naturalist programs where they'll teach them about marine biology and the plants and the animals and, and really they're all about fostering young minds and developing a sense of adventure and curiosity. So if you do have children, this is an amazing place to grow up. There are five resort pools around the community, so whether you're on vacation or living here full time, you're going to feel like you're at a resort. Right behind me is the chapel, and this is one of multiple wedding venues here on the property. This is probably my favorite, even though it's the smallest, just because I absolutely love the architecture. Uh, here at Palmetto Bluff, they've had a lot of uh, high profile weddings, including Justin Bieber, to name just one. Um, he wasn't married right in this building, but uh, this is one of the multiple wedding venues on this amazing property. I'm here at uh, one of the original family cemetery plots from the uh, original house that was out here. This is from the early 1900s. And the reason I'm showing you this is even though this is a luxury um, community, it also has a very deep tie to history, and conservation, and preservation. So on the 20,000 acres here, uh, they're committed to uh, surveying and monitoring the wildlife here, the bald eagle population, the population of the wild deer. They've got ongoing archaeological digs and, and work going on. They've got uh, scientific 
uh, research going on, on at, here at the facility. So not only is it an absolutely beautiful, luxurious community, but it is uh, a historic and, and uh, preservation uh, wonder piece. So another really amazing part about Palmetto Bluff is their arts initiative and their commitment to creativity and learning. So they have a thing called Artist in Residence where every month during a particular season, they bring in a different uh, artist, musician, maker. I mean, they've even brought in blacksmiths uh, and they actually teach you how to do these things. So you can watch them up close and personal. And if you want to get in there and actually try it yourself, uh, actually, I think this month they're doing fragrance making, which is really cool. Um, you could learn how to make knives. You could learn how to be a blacksmith. You could learn how to paint. You could learn how to write music. It's really amazing if you want to really awaken your creativity in this absolutely beautiful environment. Here on the property, there are eight restaurants all the way from casual all the way up to fine dining and out of those eight restaurants four of them are only for members that live in the community and the other four are open to folks that are staying at the resort as well right behind me is buffalo's is just one example of one of the great uh, restaurants and culinary experiences here at palmetto bluff so now i'm out at a place they call the farm and this is actually a fully functioning working farm out here at Palmetto Bluff. And they set this up so they can supply their restaurants with fresh produce. So it's really just absolutely amazing. So if you are a horse lover or you'd like to explore the equestrian lifestyle, you've got long field stables out here and there's tons of fields and paddocks and barns and facilities so if that's something that's part of your life or you'd like to be part of your life tons of opportunities out here at palmetto bluff so now i'm in moreland village and this is actually the second of three villages here in palmetto bluff and again they have uh, restaurants here. They've got one called the Canteen, which is open to uh, folks visiting, but then they also have some private restaurants that are only open to members. They have several fitness centers and spas and uh, swimming pools in this area as well. They've got like a functional fitness uh, area. They've got more of a weight training area and more of like a class studio setting um, area but uh, really kind of a little bit different feel down here, but equally breathtaking. So now I'm at the Wilson uh, Lawn and Racquet Club, and I thought this is a good place to talk about uh, health and wellness, because I feel like the folks who live out here, a lot of them have a commitment to a healthy and really wholesome lifestyle. Um, really, I think it ties into the whole connection to nature thing, but it's not just like a fitness club here. I mean, there's outdoor activities, there are spin classes, uh, weight training, uh, all kinds of like functional fitness classes. They've got some of the best fitness trainers in the entire industry here. Cold plunge pools, they have running clubs that get together and run through the woods and, and teach uh, different running techniques and uh, really just a whole commitment to a healthy lifestyle here. And uh, probably my favorite illustration of that is the buffalo run that they have here once a year. It's actually a run through the woods and they have anywhere from a 10K all the way up to a 50K uh, ultra run. So if you love a healthy lifestyle, this is an amazing place to call home. So one of the things that impressed me about Palmetto Bluff is their very robust events calendar. There is always something amazing going on here, almost every night, from oyster roasts in the winter time, to outdoor musical events in the summertime, to gatherings and galas and fundraisers and uh, races through the woods like the uh, buffalo run. I mean, you're not gonna get bored here. There's always, always something going on. 
and uh, the events calendar stays full and uh, it's really some amazing experiences. Okay, I'm here at the Palmetto Bluff Shooting Club and if you're an avid outdoorsman and you love guns, this is the place for you. They've got skeet, they've got sporting clays, and so, so much more. You have to check it out. There's more information on the website, but for the outdoorsmen, even like myself, this is heaven. So Palmetto Bluff is also home to Montage, a five-star resort here on the property. And it's a great way to come out and kind of try out this area and see if you might enjoy Palmetto Bluff before you buy. Um, they've got some amazing restaurants on the facility and all kinds of great things to do right here on the May River. Uh, it's going to cost you about $1,000 a night, but really it's money well spent. So one great way to get to know if this is the right community for you is they actually have a discovery package where you can come and you can stay here at Palmetto Bluff and experience a lot of the amenities and meet some of the people and see if maybe it's a good fit for you. So if you'd like to try the discovery package, reach out to me directly and I can help coordinate that. It's really a good way to dip your toe in the water before you, you know, jump all the way in. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the real estate numbers. So currently, I know you could be watching this, you know, a year or two years from now, but it may be similar. Currently there are 22 resales on the market and there are 16 new and spec homes on the market. Pricing is anywhere from 1.4 all the way up to $8.4 million. Uh, average price, or I'm sorry, median price in the neighborhood is about 2.7 million, and average size home is about 4,000 square feet. Uh, in the past 365 days, there were 76 homes sold, and there are currently 40 under contract. Uh, there's also 36 lots available for sale, priced anywhere from right around 500,000 all the way up to a $6 million lot. And if you do decide to buy a lot and build your own custom home, there's about 25 different home builders that you can choose from here. Actually, you can choose whoever you want, but there's about 25 that build, you know, quite a bit of homes in here. So about 50% of the people that live here uh, stay full time and the other 50% live here part time and have other homes in different parts of the country. People are coming from the Northeast, they're coming from the Midwest, they're coming from Montana, they're coming from California, but uh, the number of full time residents is actually increasing here. It's going up. So currently there have been 900 out of a potential of 3,800 units built out here. So really they still have quite, uh, quite a lot of building to do. Okay, now that we have looked at the lifestyle and kind of the culture, let's drive around and look at some of the homes and some of the architecture.
right, guys. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. I hope you learned something about Palmetto Bluff and got a new appreciation for it. I know I did. I think in the end, it all goes back to that tie that they have with the land and to the outdoors and the history and nature. There's over 20,000 beautiful acres out here. And I think everyone in this community has a deep love and appreciation for nature and their tie to it. So whether it's boating or shooting or bicycling or outdoor sports and activities or fishing or whatever you love to do, um, Palmetto Bluff really lets you live uh, close to nature, but still in a very luxurious uh, environment in with some of the most beautiful homes and architecture on the southeast coast. So again, uh, my name is David Simcox, host of Low Country Lifestyles and a local realtor. And if I can help you find your Low Country Lifestyle, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or book a Zoom call. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about the current market here in the low country of South Carolina. As always, thank you for spending your time with me today. It's been my pleasure, and uh, I'll see you next time.